All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our class. So today's lesson, we're going to be working with 2.6, dividing whole numbers. Our standard is sixth grade number sense A. Our objective is that you will be able to divide whole numbers and solve problems involving division of whole numbers. Our mathematical literacy, we have quotient, dividend, divisor, remainder, numerator, denominator, fraction, and whole number. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, class, welcome. So in this video, we're going to be using long division with whole numbers and also using single and double digit divisors. Now, our big goal uh, by the end of this lesson is that I want you guys to understand the process of long division because after you master that with single digit divisors, I want you to go on to double digit divisors and then also to divide uh, decimals. Okay. But the most important thing is that as long as you have the basic understanding of this division process and you have this down, you can solve any division problem. Okay. Um, so as we go forward, I really highly recommend that you pause the, uh, the video uh, when you see the problems and work them out with me. Um, I think that this is going to be very beneficial for you guys rather than you just staring at the screen and listening to me to talk through these. Uh, but it's up to you, okay? So our success criteria for 2.6 is that you're going to be able to use long division to divide whole numbers and also to write remainders as a fraction. And also, I want you to learn to interpret quotients in real-life problems. So what I mean by interpret is that it's something that you make sense of, okay? So I want you to make sense of uh, division uh, today. Here we go. Okay, so let's first start with some mathematical literacy. Now let's talk about what a dividend is. So a dividend is the amount that you want to divide up, and the divisor is the number that you want to divide by, and the quotient is the answer to any division problem. So let's say for an example, we have the dividend 672, and we want to divide by 8 okay and then whatever we get for an answer we're gonna get the quotient the answer to a division problem okay so with that being said uh, let's go ahead and talk about what a whole number is so a whole number would be like the number 8 and 672 so they are both whole numbers. Now whole numbers is a part of your mathematical literacy and whole numbers are basically uh, any of the numbers from a set started from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, so on and so forth to uh, positive infinity. Okay, And so remember that whole numbers are basically counting numbers and uh, also that there's no fractional or decimal parts to them and there are no negatives to any whole numbers okay so that's what we're going to be looking at today for whole numbers and we want to make sure that you guys understand what they are again you guys can pause this video and work out the problems so the first step is to set up the problem for solving okay so we have the dividend 672 so I'm gonna rewrite the dividend 672 divided by the divisor 8 so in other words the dividend 672 is the total amount that we want to divide up and we want to divide that by the divisor 8 which is the number that we divide by in other words think of this as like 672 head of sheep and we're going to be dividing them into eight groups okay so now think to yourself how many times can we divide 8 into 67 well 8 can go into 67 eight times and then the second step is to multiply so the second step is to multiply 
So what is eight times eight? Eight times eight is gonna be 64. The next step is to subtract. 64, I'm sorry, 67 take away 64 is three. Then the fifth step is to bring down that two. Now think to yourself again, how many times can eight go into 32? Well, your answer is gonna be four. So we divide eight into 32 four times. Eight times four is gonna be 32. And then subtract 32, take away 32 is gonna be zero. So your quotient is going to be 84. So what that means is we can divide 672 by eight and we get the quotient 84. So we can make eight groups of 84, all right? So then uh, we will also wanna check, we wanna check our work. So we do that by doing the uh, inverse operation of division, which is multiplication. And we multiply 84 times eight. Four times eight is gonna be 32. Eight times eight is 64. 64 plus three is gonna be 67. And 672 matches your dividend, so it checks. All right, so do the same thing with the other side. Uh, what I want you to do is to go ahead and write out the problem. 234 divided by nine. I'll wait for a moment. You can pause the video if needed. Now, let's set this up. You have the dividend 234. That is the amount that we want to divide up. Divided by the divisor nine. Again, we want to use that number to divide by. So, again, think to yourself, how many times can nine go into 23? So we divide that. So nine can go into 23, oh, uh, let's say twice. Now nine times two, we multiply the next step. Nine times two is gonna be 18, okay? Now 23 take away 18 is gonna be five. Then we bring down that four. Now, how many times can nine go into 54? Six. Nine times six is 54. No remainder. So we can say that 234 divided by nine will equal the quotient 26. Okay, put a box around my final answer. The same with the other side. And then again, we want to check. So 26 times nine, okay. So nine times six is gonna be 54. Nine times two is 18 plus five will be 23. So it does check. The product matches the dividend. All right, so just to recap, now when we divide whole numbers, when we divide um, single digit, double digit divisors, when we divide decimals, it doesn't matter. Any division problem, you have to first set up the problem for solving, divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down, and repeat as necessary. All right, so go ahead and pause this video and follow these steps. Okay, thank you for doing that. Now, uh, work along with me. So if you find this uh, fraction here, uh, don't freak out, okay? So the cool thing about this is it's basically the same thing. Your numerator is your dividend. Your denominator is your divisor, okay? So set it up. 6,096 divided by 30, okay? So we divided. Now next we wanna do is, well, I guess we wanna divide first. So how many times can 30 go into 60? Well, 30 can go into 60 twice. So we divided, now we multiply. 30 times two will equal 60. 
and then subtract. 60 take away 60 is nothing. Bring down your 9, okay? Now, how many times can 30 go into 9? Nothing, it can't. So you have to annex a 0 there. Bring down your other 6. Now, how many times can 30 fit into 96? Well, 30 can fit into 96 three times. 30 times 3 will equal 90. 96 take away 90 will equal 6. Now, what we want to do here is we want to write a remainder as a fraction. So pay close attention. Now, your quotient will always be your whole number. 203 is your quotient. That's your whole number. Now, we're going to make a division bar here, or fraction bar, I mean. Okay. Now, just remember that a fraction bar is just basically a line that separates the numerator and denominator in a fraction. Your remainder 6 will become your numerator. Okay, so um, I'll put that here. Oops. Okay, your divisor 30 will equal your denominator. Now next, you gotta ask yourself, can I reduce this fraction? Yes, you can. You can reduce it by two. Six divided by two is three. 30 divided by two is 15. Can you still reduce that? Yes, you can. You can reduce it by three again. Three can go in three once, and three can go into 15, three, six, nine, 12, 15, five times. Your final answer is gonna be the fraction 203 and one fifths. So you, my friends, just wrote a remainder as a fraction after reducing in the simplest form. Okay, so by the end of this lesson, you should all successfully know how to use long division to divide whole numbers. You should also be able to write a remainder as a fraction like we just did, and also to interpret quotients in real life problems. Okay, remember the uh, steps for dividing? Set up the problem for solving. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down, and repeat as necessary. All right, so we'll see you there, my friends.